everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're gonna do a fun yarn craft today. We are going to make some mess-free yarn paintings. This is a fun little craft that you can do as a family, and I 100% used things I found around the house. We're gonna use some scrap paper, some old stickers, just some school glue and some yarn, and of course, a pair of scissors. Um, I did sort of a rainbowy design, but this is a great way to use some scraps that you might have laying around that you're not really using anymore. And this is just a fun little project and there's actually no actual paint required. It's just, we're gonna be painting, quote unquote, with yarn, okay? So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a piece of cardstock or heavy paper. You could even use cardboard if you have that. This is all about recycling. So we're going to be just using things we have on hand. So a piece of cardstock, cardboard, whatever. You'll also need a full sticker sheet without any stickers removed. We're gonna be actually gluing this and using the sticky side. You can get fancy sticker paper. If you have that already, fine. If not, we're gonna learn how to make our own with a sticker sheet. You'll also need some glue, some school glue, something that's gonna dry pretty flat, a pair of scissors, and then just any yarn scraps that you have. Now I'm gonna be using Red Heart Super Saver. This is the amethyst, the delft blue, the bright yellow, the pumpkin, and the spring green. I'm using colors from our 2020 temperature crochet along, if these colors look familiar. Um, just use what you have on hand. That's the whole spirit of this project. So let's get started. We need to prep our surface first. We can sort of slide this yarn out of the way, grab your glue, and we're not gonna take any stickers off. What we're going to do is put some glue on the front of the sticker sheet and then we're going to glue it to our um, cardstock that we have here. So just put some glue down on your uh, sticker sheet. Now you'll wanna get it very evenly spread. So you could do that with your finger, or if you have a little brush, you could do that as well. Um, but make sure you get all of those edges down because you don't want any stickers left behind. You wanna be able to get all that sticky facing up at some point when we're done gluing this, okay? So I'm using half of this to glue. Um, see, I'm going right over the edge with mine. If you wanna add a little bit more glue too, just to get it, um, you know, you got a nice layer on there. And this, will, this half will be sort of our waste paper. Um, but obviously you can recycle that as well. Okay, so what we wanna do, or draw on the back of it, okay? So, you know, no paper goes to waste around here. So then what you wanna do is take that print side and stick it down into the corner of your cardstock. This is actually the sticker sheet is how big, Now I know it's white on white on white, <laughs> but actually, you know what, I'll grab, let me grab a paper plate so you can see a little bit better. So this car, this sticker sheet rather, is going to be um, our surface, okay? So get it all nice and lined up. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut this sticker sheet out, okay? And then this you can use for other things later, okay? So then what you'll wanna do is just take your paper and your sticker sheet and just sandwich that together really, really well. And you can lay something heavy on it, like a book or something, and you'll want to let it completely dry, okay? Even if you have to do it overnight. You might want to, if you wanna do this a couple times, maybe do a couple of these at once. But what you wanna do is let this glue completely dry. It might take overnight to do it, but you'll wanna let it dry before you start to try and peel this off, okay? So to protect your surface, we can grab our, our paper plate and you can just leave it on there and then let it dry. So our sticker base is all dry and I just wanted to mention too, I put mine in between some books just to keep it nice and flat. So you can grab your canvas, if you will, because we are gonna be making a yarn painting. And I'm just gonna set my books aside um, so the next thing we want to do is peel the sticker backing. So this is the back where the cardstock was, and this is like the waxy um, surface that the stickers are stuck to. So what we're going to do now is carefully peel this back layer off. You can get it started in one of the corners, and you'll just carefully peel it off. Now there might be some areas where there was glue, and that's okay. Just peel it the best you can. 
okay? So everything is glued down, and we have the sticky side facing upward now, okay? So this is just an easy way to kind of like use things you have at home to create a sticky surface for your yarn painting, okay? And then I have a little corner here, just try to peel it the best you can, okay? So then we're gonna put everything sticky side up like so, and we're gonna start cutting and sticking some yarn down to make our little yarn painting, okay? So I'm just grabbing some yellow, and what I'm gonna do is carefully lay it across. Now I'm not gonna worry about the edges right now, and you can make like a bend in your design, any, any way you wanna make your design, and you're just gonna stick your yarn down, okay? And just cut another piece, however you wanna make your design, um, and you can lift it up and restick it. It's not a big, huge deal. And we're just gonna like stick it right down. So this really is a mess-free kind of art project. Okay, so just stick it down. Try not to let any of the uh, background show. Um, and as you get more and more yarn, it'll be a little bit easier to kind of stick things down onto it because right now, most of the sticky is exposed so uh, your everything is sticking to it. Your hands are sticking to it. So you can kind of roll it into place like this, kind of squeeze it and tap it, and you kind of like find your your flow, if you will, as you stick more and more pieces down. Like what technique you like? Do you like to kind of roll it into place like this, um, and then try experimenting with different colors? You can kind of make a little rainbow, you can do whatever you want. It's your art and you can make it as beautiful as you want. You can also do um, a little bit of, you want some sparkle, you could do some metallic yarn, all kinds of things, okay? So go ahead and stick your painting, your, your paint, your yarn paint. <laughs> um, now you can make them go in different directions. Um, Whatever you feel, this is art and there's no wrong way to do this, okay? So just go ahead and stick your yarn down. And then what we're gonna do next is once you get your entire surface covered of your painting, then you'll want to uh, trim the edges. So we're gonna get all this stuck down and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna trim everything up. Okay, our yarn painting is almost complete. Now, if you have some areas where the yarn is sort of lifting up a little bit, just take your scissors and sort of just like press it into the sticky part. The areas where, just a couple tips, the areas where you have bends, I found that the uh, yarn lifted a little bit. So here and in, in here, I think I tried to be a little amb too ambitious with my, my blue. I had a, too many twists and turns, I think. The areas where the yarn was straighter, um, just like straight pieces across like here, it did great. So just keep that in mind as you plan your design, but it does lay down. You just have to kind of kind of tuck it into doing that. Okay, so then what we wanna do is take your painting and we're going to carefully pick it up and we're gonna trim the ends. Now I will say as a side note, I kind of like it with all the wild ends, but I'm gonna show you this way too. So go ahead and just trim it flush to the edges of your surface that you stuck it to. Just give it a little trim and turn. Just do all the sides, all four sides of your painting. And if you get a little lift, the corners can be a little tricky like this. Um, just press them back down. Okay, so we can slide these out of the way. And we have this really cool, interesting yarn painting. Now, uh, you might wanna touch up some of these corners and just grab something to kind of press them down like that if you have any lift. But as your yarn sticks on. Now I did also find that some of the colors stuck on a little bit better, like the blue stuck on pretty well um, and the purple didn't uh, as well. And I think it's just the fuzz factor that the yarn has. So what you can also do when you're finished is, let me just grab my, my stack of books really quick that I had at the, earlier in the video. You can take your painting and you can lay it um, under some books for 
I don't know, like 24 hours or so, and everything will kind of like press down more, okay? So you can just leave it like that, I don't know, like overnight or 24 hours, something like that. But let me grab it back again so we can look at it. But I would love to see all of your designs. Definitely share them on social media and tag me or use the hashtag uh, Fiberflux for that. But um, I can't wait to see all of your designs as well. And I hope you've been enjoying these yarn crafts that you can do as a family. This would also make a really fun greeting card as well. So that is how you make a mess-free yarn painting. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.